Beloved, the other day I was in conversation with two young people and we enjoyed a wide ranging exchange of ideas, which included discussing the big questions in philosophy, metaphysics and physics, and unpacking certain aspects of Western ontological concepts versus my reading of African ontology. We also discussed elements of the science versus religion debate. And afterwards, a young Jewish woman, Thalia, asked me what my single most important takeaway was from all the reading and living I have done. I responded that it was a tough ask to reflect in this way because of the complexity of these topics and the fact that there are so many lessons that one can learn not only from books, but also from life experience. Nevertheless, I responded that in my view, our aim at all times, regardless of our worldview, ought to be to live a life of moral rectitude. This for me means to do the most good and least harm at all times and in any given situation. No matter what life throws at us, this ethical and moral principle should serve as a lodestar and guide in our decision making, whether it involves family, friends, church, work or business related matters. This simple guideline, am I doing the most good or the least harm in any given situation, as what in my view underpins the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I challenge you to apply this principle to every relationship you have. Ask yourself, am I doing the most good or least harm in my relationship with person A, B or C? The answer and the outcome of this reflection may surprise you. You can also apply this principle in your analysis and assessment of any social or political situation by asking the question, is party A doing the most good or least harm to party B? Apply this principle to any potential justification which may arise from the actions of party A. It was not my aim in this brief discussion to elucidate how the golden rule do unto others as you would have them do unto you is rooted in the great Rabbi Hillel, the elders teachings or what its theological implications are. Neither do I seek to delve into the deontological ethics of Immanuel Kant, which holds that our ethics are to be judged by our actions, i.e. a promise broken, a theft, etc. Nor do I seek to explain the utilitarian ethics of John Stuart Mill. Mill's utilitarian ethics is premised on whether actions produce outcomes which lead to the overall happiness of others. In other words, how or what we do to achieve a positive outcome is not at issue. Rather, a happy outcome is what is at stake. Under this ethical regime, killing an intruder is justified if you are doing so in order to protect your family. I trust this brief discussion of what could otherwise be a very complex topic proves useful to you. Again, always be guided by whether your thoughts, words or actions do the most good or the least harm. Stay blessed. Shabbat Shalom.